is the land of the spirit realm. God is taking us to, amen, a new place. Amen. Praise God. So get ready, get ready. Those places is, remember the scripture tell us that, uh, amen, we are set in heavenly places. So them places are spiritual places. Them, th th those lands are uh, heavenly land, land that flow with milk and honey. Amen. Those are going from glory to glory. God getting ready to open up doors. Amen. Revelation doors. Amen. God is unfolding. Amen. In this hour. So, amen. So get ready. Get ready, people. Praise God. Are you ready? Glory to God. Are you hungry? Praise God. He that hung in thirst after righteousness, the Bible said, they shall be filled. So are you hungry? Amen. Amen. In order to get revelation, we must be hungry. Amen. Amen. For revelation knowledge. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Those of you, amen, are just tuned in. My name is uh, Stevie Lancaster. Amen. And I am the pastor of the Master Revival, Sons of God Fellowship Ministry, where we preach and teach the revelation knowledge of Jesus Christ. Amen. God himself was manifested in the flesh and dwell down here amongst us. Amen. Praise God. According to St. John 1 and 1, and amen, that's where it said in the beginning was the word, where it was with God, and the word was God, and the word became flesh, and the way up down here amongst us. And we're going to get into this word, amen, some more revelation knowledge, amen, that God had to pray for us, amen. Praise God. I want everybody, everybody that can hear my voice, amen, thank God for a full house, amen. So if you can hear my voice, amen, on today, amen, if you can hear me. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you can hear my voice, praise God. Amen. I want you, amen, praise God, to, to uh, go with me, everybody. Praise God. Look at the screen. Amen. Look over at the screen, everybody. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Let's go to St. John 21 and 12 because we don't have too long. Amen. St. John. St. John. St. John 21 and 12. I pray that everybody can hear my voice. St. John 21. And 12. Amen. Praise God. Let's go into the word of God. Look at the screen, everybody. Praise God. Amen. St. John 21 and 12. I'm not going to read the whole verse, but I'm going to take a few little uh, letters out of uh, St. John 21 and 12. And they say, come. Amen. How many of you know? that come is an imitation. God is inviting us to come to another level. Now, he's inviting us, amen, to eat. Amen. How many of us have feasts going on? And how many of you know this feast and heads no ending? Amen. This feast is got is filled with not corner food. So if you're corner, you won't understand the feasts. If you're corner-minded, you will understand what God is speaking to us in the spirit realm on today. God got so much people that he wants to give to us. Amen. He wants to feed us. But if we're corner-minded, amen, and we're not hungry, and if we're not thirsty and leaning and after him and wanting more and more of him, amen, not, not coming with an expectation spirit, amen, and, a, and have a judgmental spirit, amen, closed up spirit, then you won't receive nothing from the Lord. Only those who are open-minded today, amen, and that do not have a judgmental spirit, those who have an open mind, as I said, and those that are hungry and thirst, amen, after more and more revelation knowledge. You are the one that God is going to talk to on today. Amen. 
Praise God. So God is inviting us to come up out of the, the realm of man. Amen. Church, come up out of the realm of man. Excuse me. And come into the realm of the spirit realm. Amen. Because God said, I got some food that I, I want to feed my people. Come, he said. And then he said, let's eat. Are you ready to eat? Amen. Are you ready to eat? God got so much. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. So much. So much. God is doing a new thing. Praise God. Are you ready? In the earth. God is new. This new, you know, God been speaking to us. There are new seeds of being being uh, poured out. Well, I want you to know them seeds that being poured out, church, is revelation knowledge. Amen. That's the food God saying for us to eat today. Let's go into some revelation. What is revelation? Something that is hidden. Something that is a secret. Something that is far beyond the understanding of this corner of mind. Praise God. Hear me. Praise God, everybody. Amen. Hear me. Praise God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God. The title of my message, if you can see the screen, the prison doors are now open. Don't forget that. I'm going to take my time. The prison's doors are now open. I want us to meditate on that. Because God spoke to my spirit in meditation and he said that the prison's doors Are, are now open. Point three. Jews have feed, freed us, excuse me. Jesus, look at me, everybody, for a few minutes here. Then we're going to go back to the board. I want to let you know Jesus Jesus has freed us Thank God the curse have been lifted. Oh, let's give God the praise. Glory be to God. Jesus have freed us from the curse of sin and death. We're no more in prison. Jesus have freed us. I tell you, I feel the presence of God. I feel his anointing. Thank you for coming and visiting me in my office. Thank God for all of you that showed up. I'm here to tell you, church, that Jesus has freed us from the curse. From the curse of the law of sin and death.
Thank God that the curse have been lifted. Ain't you glad? Aren't we glad today that the curse has been lifted? Glory be to God. Look at the screen, everybody. Glory be to God. Let's go to St. Matthew. You to have your Bible. 11 and 15. He that ain't talking to everybody yet. I want everybody to know this. He, you know, God spoke to my spirit uh, the other day. Just study, uh, 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 study reminding me that revelation is not for everybody. Because if you're caught up, you can't receive it. And you cannot hear it. It's to those who are spiritual minded. Those who are open. How many of you are spiritual minded? Well, if you're spiritual minded, it's for you. How many of you know that everybody that sits in the church system is not spiritual minded? We can run. We can shout, we can dance, we can sing like a barking bird, and yet not spiritual minded. To be spiritual minded is to come up at my thoughts and take on the thoughts of Christ. Take on the mind of Christ. What mind did Christ have? He had the mind of God, a spiritual mind, a mind that is far beyond the understanding of this corner world, a mind that does not think like the earth, don't think like mankind. It thinks different. Glory to God. So he God had been dealing with God, but started dealing in my spirit. Let the weed and the terry grow together. He said, my son, and I'm gone to do the separating. What is the separation going to separate us? The word of God. One shall be taken, and I one shall be left behind. In this hour, God is catching some people up. Don't miss your visitation. God has so much that he wants to give. He wants to feed you. I tell you one thing, I don't want to be left behind, not in this hour. It's too much going on. You have a better time we need to get caught up into the realm of the spirit realm. This is the hour. It's the day of Noah. When the flood came and overtook the world. Rained, storm and rain, water, and those that was not ready, they was left behind. They were destroyed of the, off the face of the earth. I don't want to be left behind. That water in the spirit realm, listen, people, represent revelation. It represents the knowledge of God. It represents the overflow of the anointing. 
that flood, that flood of the earth is the presence of the Almighty. The Almighty God flooding your earth. Who are the earth? Everybody say, your earth. You are the earth. Somebody say, God flooded me. Open up the floodgate. And I'm telling you, God is opening the floodgate. And he's flowing out revelation. Revelation knowledge. Church, are you ready? Are you ready for revelation knowledge? He that had the ear on, let him hear what the Spirit is speaking on today. Hallelujah. Now that come from, that was a nugget God just gave us about that flow over flow. Amen. That went in my nose. That was a nugget from the Holy Ghost. Now if you missed it, that was a visitation that God was giving us concerning the flood. Amen. How I many you know sometimes when you're the preacher, some sometimes you know the God can have you to minister something and and my God, things are just whoo. I mean, God will bring things out of the spirit realm that you didn't hear yourself. You weren't well, even in your notes. And that's what God did. Look at me, everybody. Praise God. Thank God. I want everybody to know. Thank God, thank God. That the curse, the curse had been lifted. Amen. Amen. Thank God the curse have been lifted off of mankind. I like to speak to every man if you can hear my voice. Christ have freed you of all debt. Listen to me now. All of your debts have been paid in full. I'm talking about the world. I want everybody to understand this now. I'm talking about the whole entire universe. Let me get this mic right. So I want to make sure everybody can hear me. Praise God. I'm talking about the whole universe. Christ and pay our debt in full. That every man, every boy, every girl, and every child, your debt of sin have been paid for. Amen. Let's look at the board. Praise God. 